Mr. Cook and the lecture. Uh, Scott had some exciting uh, news this week about uh, Highway 92. Um, yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you asked me to come up here. Uh, yes, as you all know, we have been working for decades, as uh, all of our delegation knows, to, to see Highway 92 widened. And we have partnered with uh, Douglasville and Georgia DOT to put money into traffic studies and environmental work down for the, uh, the bypass around Douglasville, which is you know, our route to the interstate for a lot of folks uh, traveling outside the county to work. And uh, I just want to let you know, Friday, Georgia DOT has advertised that project for bids. That is a tremendous milestone to actually see something in writing that uh, we're taking bids for a major project. It is a huge project, and it is, uh, as you can imagine, getting around Douglasville. We've got to cross the tracks and uh, get under the tracks, actually, and, and widen the parallel roads. It's a cross-country route. It actually cuts off distance, as well as uh, avoiding the downtown congested area. And uh, we're really excited to see it come out, and uh, we're hopeful we'll see some good bids in that. We'll get in in just a few months. And the other portion of that is right-of-way acquisition uh, from between Douglasville and Hiram, correct? Yes, and, and those were a companion project working all the way up to just south of Hiram. Um, at the same time, we got the announcement that they were going to put the project out for bids in Douglasville. They announced they were going to begin or authorize the right-of-way acquisition all the way up to Hiram. So that is definitely some, some good news also, and then some relief for those folks that have been waiting, you know, the homes along those routes, they don't know uh, what's going to happen to their homes or when, and, and they've been waiting for many years to you know, find out what their destiny was with buyouts or whatever, and, and it's coming also. So that's, that's also great news. Thank great you. News this week. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, exciting, uh, probably one of the best weekends we've ever had is the Wellstar ribbon cutting. They had 6,500 people that toured the hospital, and they had over 10,000 people that were in attendance. It was an all-day event, started about 8 in the morning, and went to about 11 o'clock that night with fireworks. So uh, we are blessed uh, to have this facility in Baldwin County. Uh, also, uh, we got some great news this week that the uh, film studio has been rented, and it's uh, a talent show type show and it's the creators of the biggest loser and the face that will be here so uh, not sure exactly but it has something to do with talent uh, I don't really see any talent sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it should be exciting so great news this week and, uh, uh, thank you all thank you Scott <coughs> hard work there. Um, there's no uh, invited guests uh, Bill Awards Number one, discuss action to award the low bidder, C.W. Matthews Contracting Company Incorporated, the Bill Carruth Parkway Widening Reconstruction Phase 2 project in the amount of $12,321,165.81. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Scott and I are going to go back and forth with these. But um, on March 7th, we received two bids for this project. And we are recommending award to the low bidder, C.W. Matthews, in the amount of $12,321,165.81. This project um, consists of 2.95 miles of grading, drainage, base, and paving for the four lane widening on Bill Creek Parkway and the Norfolk uh, Bridge. It's paid for with splash money. It will be paid for with splash money. And it'll be, in other words, your, your cash flow plan is based, it's like a two, two and a half year construction period. That's correct. And, and so it's going to use the majority of the SPLOS proceeds for that two year period. Yeah. You have a four lane that comes off of um, 278 right at the hospital. And then it goes down to, I guess, the railroad bridge. And then you have a two lane that carries you down to the new intersection that's all four lanes. So the 2.9 that you're talking about is that area that has been two lanes that will go to four lane, correct? That's correct. It's the remaining two lane portion of Bill Cruz Parkway. Uh, under the last splash we did, we only had enough money remaining to continue the project down to the railroad, and uh, we have that merged there. Um, the next section, uh, south of the railroad, railroad down to Hiram City Road, is our heaviest traveled two lane road in the county. And so the urgency and the need is still there. 
and uh, we think that connectivity is going to really do good things for economic development along that route, as well as uh, providing relief when uh, Highway 278 is blocked by a crash or something like that. Uh, I also wanted to add that uh, this is our largest slosh project ever. It, it's uh, rather ambitious. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it fits in perfectly with their, our experience off of East Hiram Parkway building a major route, four-lane road with multiple bridges. It's a very similar road, very similar length. The difference is we're just adding two lanes and a median, and those two lanes and median will be added to the Hiram side of that road. So most of that work will be done beside traffic, not directly in traffic. So we will be conscious of that to minimize inconveniences to the public. Also, I want to add that uh, we have a good bid. Um, even though there were two bidders, there were a lot of interested bidders pursuing the work. Ultimately, only two met the deadline for the bids. And we have a very good contractor that's going to do the work for us. So we're excited to get this going with your approval. Thank you. The length of time is because of the bridge. Is that one of the issues? For so, I know you got to coordinate with the railroad. And you got to dealing with them is different. Uh, that's so, correct. We're looking at, at a year and a half of involvement just with the railroad mm -hmm. crossing. Yeah. Um, the overall project is two years from notice to proceed. We expect them to be underway by May at the, at, at the uh, latest. And then uh, we'll be looking to complete the work in May of 2016. And you'll be able, and we will actually level out the intersection where it crosses, or make it a better intersection where it crosses Hiram City. Also, correct. That's so correct. Not, uh, when, not a road jump. when the two-lane uh, <coughs> alternative for Highway 92 was built, Hiram City was the heaviest, heavier traveled road, and the road sort of met at Hiram City and didn't really provide for that continuation of traffic. So we're going to bring that intersection down and make that entire road uh, flow better with that. Is there a separate bridge for the Silver Comet Trail? The, the Silver Comet Bridge was widened with the last segment, and so we're coming right off that to existing uh, four-lane bridge over Silver Comet, and we're, we're widening the next bridge south, which is the one that covers both the railroad and crosses over the creek to the south there. So there's no, there's no separate for Silver Comet. Now, we are working on a recreation trail to um, cross Silver Comet, the side of the road there, which could involve a bridge. <clears throat>